How do you get started on Japanese joinery? In Japan, carpentry developed within a family guild system characterized by fierce competition and secrecy. In addition to designing joints that fulfill the basic requirements of structural strength and aesthetic harmony with Eastern philosophical concepts, rival guilds sought to develop increasingly complex joints whose interlocking components were invisible when assembled. Of the 400 joints still in use in Japan today, many are descended from these secret joints. The complexity of Japanese joinery owes as much to native building materials as to the philosophy behind the craft. In Japan, the stone and clay necessary for brick making are scarce, and therefore the mason's art did not develop to the level it did in Europe and China. On the other hand, Japan's rich volcanic soil grows a wide variety of trees. The abundance of species, as well as their wood's structural resistance to earthquakes, fostered the ancient tradition of building from wood everything from sliding rice paper doors to Shinto temples. Unlike in organic building materials like brick and stone, wood retains a warmth that serves as a reminder that it was once a living thing. In Japan, craftsmen hold the view that wood has a soul, inspiring a sense of reverence that still surrounds traditional methods of joinery in Japan. 1. A Selection of Japanese Woodworking Tools Japanese tools differ from their Western counterparts in both subtle and obvious ways. A Japanese mortise gauge works much like its Western equivalent, except that it is fitted with small blades instead of pins. And, the width of a mortise is set by adjusting between the two beams, rather than by moving the stock in relation to the blades. Like Western-style chisels, the Japanese versions are designed for specific purposes. The push chisel has a triangular blade for cleaning up dovetail joint pins and tails. The mortise chisel features a thick, square blade with slightly concave sides to reduce friction. And the corner chisel is used to square large mortise. But a Japanese chisel made with a steel hooped handle is strong enough to withstand bending struck by a steel hammer. Japanese saws and planes depart from Western design altogether because they cut on the pull stroke rather than the push stroke. The ryoba is a combination saw, with rip teeth on one edge and cross cut teeth on the other. The dazuki, with slightly set teeth, is used in joinery and fine bench work. The flush cutting kujihiki is used for delicate cleanup work. It has a flexible blade for trimming tenons or dowels without marking the surrounding surface because its teeth have no set. The chamfer plane in the photo features screw adjusted fences. The tools is designed to shape the beveled molding commonly used in Japanese doors. For Japanese woodworkers, their art begins with respect for tools. Despite advances in technology that have given the modern woodworker portable power tools and stationary machines, many Japanese woodworkers still rely mainly on hand tools that have remained virtually unchanged for centuries. Only care, diligent maintenance, and respect for these tools can produce the elaborate and precise joints. 2. A Gallery of Japanese Joints Japanese joints are grouped into two categories. This is a splicing joints, or tsuji, joins two pieces end to end to create a longer one.
This is a shiguchi, connects two or more pieces at an angle. Because many Japanese houses have few pieces of furniture. The traditional Japanese joints originated as carpentry joints used in the construction of houses. The shiguchi joint shown on this, can be applied to cabinet making. So, let's get started with it. In Japan, beauty is an essential element of the art of roof joinery. And the ultimate value of a joint is measured by subtle combination of its appearance and the builder's skill and speed. A Japanese woodworker aims for perfection with a first saw or chisel cut. Sanding a workpiece to fit is not part of the joinery process. Tradition also requires that any mistake made by a Japanese craftsman remain on the piece to remind him of his humble nature. So every stroke of the saw, or plane is crucial, requiring great concentration. This concentration is demanded by the tools themselves. Although they look deceptively simple to use, Japanese tools require considerable patience and practice to master. As the ancient craftsmen who forged them understood, the key to success to learn to use the tool with skill and respect.